this the shit I got to go through. It's like I got to choose between my child and my marriage. And the shit getting old. It getting very old and frustrating. Between your child and your marriage, what are you doing? I mean, like, what's going on? I'm recording, and no, no, man. No, 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 I ain't recording because you ain't dropping that shit. I don't give a damn about no Facebook, no YouTube, or nothing. The shit. No, 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 no. Hey, I don't care nothing about that. Because my thing is right here. You pay $500 a month. You can drop it. I'm going to put your business out there. You pay $500 fucking dollars a month in child support, and ain't nobody been doing no extra. No shoes, no clothes, no toys, no nothing. Fuck all that. What you talking about, man? My son needs some shoes. I don't give a damn. No, they get, yeah, yeah, she can get the shoes out of the child support money. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she get the shoes out of the child support money. That's what you pay child support for. The court ordered child support. You ain't got to do shit else. And she ain't get the nothing else. She should have never took the fucking child support out if she needed more money. You shouldn't feel like that, though. Man. Why shouldn't I feel like that? Yeah, that's my fucking child. I don't fuck that child. Fuck you, too. I don't give a damn about that. Shoes? Come on, to get some extra shoes and you pay 500 fucking dollars. I'm what? And child support. You ain't buying no shoes. You ain't buying no fucking shoes. You buy shoes. You buy them shoes. You buy them shoes. That's it. That's it. I'm telling you. You pay child support. What you paying child support is for? I'm saying still though. You need some shoes. I'm gonna get the shoes. No, you ain't getting no shoes. Not even you ain't. See the red pill laughing back at you fellas again with that head. Y'all already know what time it is. Wrist, elbow, everything on the back of her neck, holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down. That game. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with this video, piping hot satin, she gonna get it down your phone until you hear all your candy game. Big facts. Go join my Patreon. KC the red pill alpha. Get some of that raw and uncut material that you're not gonna get on YouTube. Go get on that $5 tier. It's up and going. It's ready for you. Go get on it. My video for education purposes on fair use on. You want to get at me, go to my about section. Hit me up. I'm there. My Gmail, phone number, all that shit there. You can text me, I'll let you. Let's get to it. Now, who's right or who's wrong in this situation? I already know what's up. You know, shouts out to Mr. Palmer, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with the... Uh, Fuck child support, you know, the baby mama terrorist situation, because this is definitely needed. And I already know he's going to, you know, I'm fucking with him, fucking with the content. But um, this is definitely needed right here. <clears throat> I can speak on a little bit of this. I've been in a situation a little similar. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, it definitely didn't play out in neither one of their favors, neither one of the chicks' favors. It's going to always play out in my interest. Why? Because if I'm on child support for my children, I'm paying child support for my children. If I want to spend money outside of child support, 
on my children, then that's what I want to do. Why? Because they're my children. That's my bloodline. It's not because of my baby mama. It's not because of my girlfriend or my wife or whoever, or because of my children want these things. It's something I want to do because I'm that kind of person. Depends on who you are, fellas. You got to ask yourself, those with children or those on the, in a similar situation as this, and good looking out to the subscriber for sending me this video. It's definitely education purpose only, but guys, that's in similar situations as this, who are you? Ask yourself that. For one, I had a chick before. Try to not come this aggressive, but try to ultimatum into whether we're going to be in a relationship or not. Do you want this relationship with me? If you do, then you can't let your baby mama boss you around and ask for you to buy your kids something when you already paying child support. Check game. It's my decision if I want to do that for them or not. Yes, I was paying child support at the time then, and my baby mama was trying to get that shit off, but when she seen that I'm who I am, I'm defiant, I do what I want to do, she stopped that shit and checked game on this, though. The chick that tried to ultimatum me had to go. Had to go. The reason why. But in that situation, in the video, that's his wife. But I've never been married. This was just a chick I was fucking with. So she had to go. You don't give me no ultimatum. Because this was the same chick that was trying to redirect me into taking care of her child. She had a child. You get it? She was trying to redirect me into doing things for her child. Oh, no, no, no. That ain't what's I see what time this is. I see what it is. You don't want me to do things for my children, but yet still you want me to do things for yours. You know, because you figure I'm on child support and you figure my baby mama's trying to run me and things of that nature when that wasn't even the case. It was for her benefits. So the wife, his wife, the guy, in the video, she doing things out of spite for her benefits. If you don't do this, she trying to ultimate him. Or you going to get your shit, you going to get out of here. You know, for one, who got the, you see a weight bench in there? I seen a weight bench in the motherfucking video. Who's working out? Who's pumping that iron? Her or him? Because they both broadly is a motherfucker. They both, shit, look like they can play for the motherfucking Chiefs. You did, <laughs> You know, and she shouldn't be... She shouldn't be like that. And, you know, what kind of bitch he got? And she's giving him ultimatums. She's loud. She's obnoxious. She's annoying. She's screaming. Oh, you don't do this. You don't do that. That man's on child support. Paying for his children. He don't have to do things outside of child support. No, he don't have to. No, I agree with her on that. He don't have to do that. But if he decide to do that for his son or his daughter or whoever, then that's what he decided to do as a man. Because he wants to do that for him. That doesn't mean he's doing it for his baby mama. You know, that doesn't mean, you know, what the fuck? No, that's not how it go. Legally, fellas, child support is put into place for mediation, basically. For you guys, to, the mother and the parent, I mean the father, so they can co-parent. Outside of being together, it's up under one roof. That's all that's for, for real. And typically, the women run and put the guys on there. We know that. That's statistically there. We can't change that, you know? However, child support can be a good thing just as well because it keeps the support payment where it's supposed to be and what you're supposed to give up so you won't give up more and you won't give up less to the child. And that's cool. That's why you remodify to what you make and wherever your income base is. That's how it goes. You remodify the child support payment to whatever income base that you're making or whatever. I know how they go. You know, I mastered that shit. I'm off of it. I bought my way up off this shit. Drop cash to my, because in the state of Missouri, as long as, if you got an arrears back pay, see my arrears stacked up because I did 10 years in prison. If I wouldn't have did time in prison, I probably wouldn't have been on child support. You know, I stuck dick down the throat. You know what I'm saying? I would, it's a lot of the things I would have did in, uh, you know what I'm saying? I would, probably wouldn't have been on it. But since I was absent, as an absentee father, I went to prison behind mom. That ain't got nothing to do with the child support. But you get what I'm saying? I was in these streets. 
fucking around. So I had to go down. So when I went down, you know, uh, they left her with the ball in her court. You know what I'm saying? And the payments and things of that nature, I had a case on. So by me having a case on me, that fucked up my, ju uh, my joint custody situation because I was a felon. I went to prison for shooting a motherfucker, selling drugs. I was I had a lot of shit on me. So she will always come with that to keep the joint custody up off of me. You know what I'm saying? So I won't get the joint custody so she can receive the child support and things of that nature. So that's what made my arrears stack up. However, I did get visitation rights to where I was getting my rights and getting my children in the visitation. I did get awarded that through the courts, and that was good. Joint custody, I seen, I was a fuck up, so I knew they was going to go against me on that, so, you know, I, I mean, that, that wasn't shit. But as long as my children know who I am, came around me, spent time with me, I molded them, guided them to where they doing great right now. They love their father, their father been in their lives, and that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? And I was left with a arrears of like, I don't know, 30, 40 some thousand back payments or whatever. That's what the rear is basically, is back payments. And uh, in the state of Missouri, you get to settle out on that back payment. So if I owe 30 some thousand, I get to settle out as a gift and get it rolled off as a gift. And they got forms for that down in our state department and, in, in uh, you know, downtown in our state, uh, DFS, Division of Family Service, State Department, whatever. It is. Keep forget. I'm off this shit, so I'm, that's good. I forgot that shit. But um, I settled out with the rears with her. So I'm not giving her like what? Almost 10000 cash to settle out all the shit that I had. You know, I, I wasn't going to pay her no 40 something thousand, 30 something. You got me fucked. Whatever it was, I wasn't going to pay that. So by me giving her that, she wrote it off as a gift and she was paid out and they dropped it all the way down. To where whatever I owe, like if she received tenth, she received they received ambulance rides and hospital shit bills, shit like that, which they only give them up to like four or five grand. They don't go past that. You know what I'm saying? And that's awarded to the man, so the man gotta pay that. That's the state rears that you can't get rid of. You have to pay that off. So I was left with that. Got that paid off. Now we good. But that's the cost of having children. A lot of people are like, oh, you came, yes, I came off cheaper. And the reason why a lot of guys that's with a couple of children come off a lot of more, a lot more money or whatever, is because their children mother be pressing for that. A lot of guys don't be remodifying their on their income base. And a lot of guys make a lot of money. You know, when it, that can happen just as well too. When you make a lot of money, you get hit. You know, however, however much money you make, she keep it's all on her. Yelling about it, her keep bringing shit to them and their attention. It's all on her. And then that's when they'll start fucking with you. If she's laid back and chill and whatever, then they won't fuck with you. That's how I go. You know what I'm saying? So I got out the situation that he's in. And if I was him, and if you guys were in this situation right now, getting up, receiving an ultimatum over what you want to do for your children, if you don't want to buy the kids shoes, you want to take it out of child support. That's good. So what? Your baby mama get mad and she ain't going to do no more run to the state. That's what they do. They run to the state and put the state back in your business and start fucking with your pockets that way. Yeah, they'll do that. You know what I'm saying? So he's in a situation to where between his doing for his child and his baby mama pressing the state on him. Now the chick, his wife or his girlfriend or whoever she is, that ain't no situation. He can get rid of that. That ain't shit. Anything that's a problem that I'm not attached to legally, I would love to wipe my hands with that shit because it, 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 it's just a problem. It's holding down my life and trying to hold merit over my life, and that's not going to happen. So I would cut that off. Now, child, you can't cut off. This is yours. The situation with child supporting your baby mama, you can't get rid of until they're 18 or when they go to college or whatever. That right there can harm you. That right there can fuck with you as you go on with life. So that's what you want to take care of and pay attention to. And even if you are paying child support and you don't want to do it, you ain't got to pay by no shoes. You don't got to do that. I'm not saying do that. You don't got to do it. It's up to you. That's why I say, who are you? What would you do? What type of person are you? I pay child support and I still pick my children up, spend time with them, take them to the movies, take them shopping, take them out to eat, you know, spend that time with them. 
The reason why I did that, because I missed out on time by me going to prison out of their lives. I felt I owed my children that. That's me being honest. Even though, yeah, I don't owe a motherfucker a damn thing, but I felt I owed them that. And I did owe them that. Because I shouldn't have been out of their lives as a man. There's some things, there's things that throughout their early years that they needed me for. I wasn't there. I was in prison, you know, as a father. So when I got out, I made up that time. Hell, I made up more time to where shit. She can't, my baby mama, she ain't, she can't fuck with me when it came to take care of my children. And my children will tell you that. And I dropped cash on her, giving it through my children, VIA, sending it through my children so they can pay her, she can settle out that way. I don't want to see her. We ain't got no dealings, you know. We been over years ago. I ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing there. So my children grown, they older enough, you know, when they was 18, 19, that's when they got handled. Now they're 21, you know, 20, 21, maybe 22, 21, 22. So that got handled through them. I didn't need her. That's how you handle shit, man. If you really want to get away from motherfucker, you really want to get up out of a problem, you can get up out of that shit. It's what you want to do. Now, who are you? What would you do in this situation? Who's right or who's wrong? I know who's right and who's wrong. If I was him, heard is giving an ultimatum, pack my shit then. I'm out. Because you're not going to give me no ultimatum. I'm a fucking man. I'm the man in this situation. Angry bitch and complain on camera. Oh, I'm gonna, I, I got to choose between my wife and my kids. Oh, you know, way in the water. You know, way in the water. Let me go and pick this cotton boy. Get the fuck out of here. With that bullshit. You ain't got to choose. You cut her motherfucking ass off and you handle the business that's there legally for you to handle because that's obligated for you to handle. And if you don't handle it, you know what time it is. She put them people in your business. You can't get rid of them. You got kids. That's the situation for us men we can't get rid of as of yet. There's not no laws yet. Maybe some later in the future, but now it ain't, unfortunately. So what you got to do is do what you got to do. You either going to pay the child support or go get the kids shoes or whatever. You pay the child support, you out. You got to do that. You ain't got to get shoes. She run down there and cry and complain. Let the bitch go do it. Fuck, get out of here. My kid know what's up. Well, he, if he, he or she don't know what's up because they, you know, a kid or whatever, then that's cool. They got to go into knowing what's up. But right now, I spent this money on child support. You go and buy that. Now, whatever you do with that money is on you. I got the receipts that I made this payment towards you. The state knows that. That's all that fucking matters. That's if you don't want to buy the shoes. Now, if you do want to buy the shoes, then go buy some shoes. It's still your son or your daughter. The fuck are you losing? It's your kid. You know, like these videos, share them, and subscribe. And you already know it's the message. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. It's the message. Young fellas, don't, if you in the situation, like, don't beat yourself up nothing up. Like, don't, don't do it. Don't beat yourself up for shit like this. Get rid of the problem that holds no merit. And that's the bitch. I'm being honest with you. Don't give me no ultimatum. Because this right here, you can't really get rid of. This over here, you can. Got me fucked up. Real game. Holla.